it was called the Fabian Society. And the Fabian Society came out of the World War II era, era and they were a communist historic party that began kind of under the scenes and later came out. But they had a mascot, and you can look this up in Wikipedia. And the mascot was a wolf in sheep, sheep's clothing. It actually had a wolf with a sheep suit on, right? Meaning that they were undermining. They were, you know, uh, pretentious and hiding evil, you know, under the disguise of something kind and gentle. Much like what the good Lord says, you know, he said, uh, you know, I'm warning you, there's going to be many that come in my name, you know, sheep, wolves in sheep's clothing. And so we look at the incident in Tennessee recently with David Baker, uh, I think a senior, father of 11, pastor of a Baptist church, pretty good sized congregation, who was recently charged with sexual misconduct of one of his own children. And David posted bail, and then he went to a public hospital, went in the restroom, and shot himself, right? Like a coward. Right? And, you know, it's one thing to do that. It's another thing to do that and leave it where everybody else has got to clean up, clean up your mess. I was in the gym earlier. Someone had cut themselves pretty bad. I didn't see it, but I could see the telltale signs of it because for 30 yards, it was nothing but blood up in the restroom, on the floors, you know, everything else. And, you know, I get it. Accidents happen. Uh, you may want to end yourself, but at least have the decency, right? That if you're bleeding or if you're going to take care of yourself and go to the life hereafter, that you do it in such a place that all they got to do is run the water hose, right? I don't think that's asking too much. And that says a lot about the character of the person that does that. It's their last coup d'etat, right? It's their last stand, right? They, hey, I'm going to do this to myself, and you're going to have to clean it up. And that is just some weak shit, period, right? The church, which I am involved in, which I don't agree with all the way, uh, uh, some of the the traditions or whatever. Hey, that's okay. And if you don't, that's okay, right? But I believe in Jesus. I believe in the congregation. I believe in the healing power of the Holy Spirit, right? And we've got to understand that there is evil that is going to put itself in that kind of scenario, in that arena of goodness and holiness. And that's just how it is. We were told that. And we cannot let that undermine our faith in God our faith in our fellow man, our faith in our ability to come together, right? Have you ever thought maybe that our inability to come together as people for this nation started and when we started warring and infractioning with people that went to church? Because that's where it all came from. See, we used to all go to be in agreement we all went to church despite our differences. We all worshiped the same God. We all did the same thing on Sunday as a people. And then that started to change. And when that started to change, the rallying and viewpoint and basic things that we shared as the freedoms of this nation, right, began to deter deteriorate. For real. You're going to have bad seeds. Right. You're going to have bad people. It's going to happen. But you can't let that stand in the way of your walk in faith because faith is the most important thing that you have. You have, when you have, when you strengthen your faith, you starve your doubts. Does that make sense? Another one. When I say I have a problem, that has a negative incandation, right? I got a ne sense of negativity. But when I say I have an obstacle, right? That means that I got something to overcome. And it's the same thing. Problems and obstacles are the same thing. But when I say it, right, and I get on to church, right, I, I do. I, I've had to not publish some videos because, you know, uh, it's not acceptable for someone to be on drugs and alcohol and preach a sermon 
but it's acceptable for someone to be obese and so unhealthy and tell us how to live. And if that is you, I want you to know, not only am I calling you out, but I also offer my services for free to help you get over that. I will show you how I got over it, right? I will share my life and encourage you. I'm not just a guy that's pointing shit out. I'm a guy that offers and wants to be part of the solution because I know how important it is for people of faith to come together, right? And be in agreement on any level, at work, in your relationships, in school, right? And so I give a lot of help about that. And I got a lot to say about that. Because if we're going to teach self-mastery, and let's get real, faith in Jesus is about self-discipline, then you need to look like you know what you're practicing. And that's only going to make you a better a leader, a better person, a better, and it's only going to make you healthier. I've got some extra skin. I was 340 pounds. I know what that's like. And it's a reminder to me of the person I never want to be again. And I encourage you to pursue that if you're battling that war, because it is possible. I'm living proof that you can overcome it, along with drugs and alcohol. You know, we cannot deter our faith in churches because of one single individual action, right? Someone that has done acted out on children, which they deserve the wood chipper, and let's get real, and and goes into a public hospital, I guess because maybe he thought that if he missed, they would take, I don't know what he was thinking, don't care, you know, if any of the allegations are true. Uh, but, you know, if we do not pursue our faith and stay strong in this, despite the evil and stuff that comes against us, then what will we do for our nation, All right? Because I want to explain the numbers to you today as they stand. We are a nation of 300 million people, roughly, right? Give or take a few million. But the number that stands at the White House is 555 people. And if we allow 555 people to dictate how we're going to live our lives, then it's, it's not them that's, that's wrong. It's us. We're dead fucking wrong. And we're weak. And I encourage each of you to vote. Despite how you want to vote, I wish you would vote this way, but that's okay. I want you just to vote because people are just like, I, you, it don't matter. It does matter. And here was here's what matters the most about it. If you do not get the result that you wish you would have voted on, then you have to say this. Well, I wish I would have. And how many times in our life do we have these things in our life that are the most painful in our lives that come from the sense of, I wish I would have. I wish I had a redo. And so by voting, you get the chance to not say that. You can say, I did my part. God bless you. Have a great day. Hallelujah. Fluid English.